Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome back to Cats Creations where tonight I'm gonna to teach you how to make a fall floral bike wheel. Um, so what you will need is a bike wheel. They come in two different sizes, unless you're getting them from like an old, I don't know, recycle place where you're actually using an actual bike rim. Um, but you can get these at Craft Outlet. They come in 16 and 20 inch sizes. I prefer the larger of the two because when you start taking your floral and you put them on a 16 inch, it looks really small. Or you go super large on your florals and it's just kind of hard to find the right um, balance between the sizes of your florals and the size of your bike wheel. And considering that most of our finished designs are somewhere between 22 to 26 inches, you kind of want a little bit bigger if you're going to use a bike rim. I prefer to get them either salt like uh, solid silver you can buy them white sometimes they're painted red blue orange um, but keep in mind that with a can of spray paint you can put any color you want on them so we took ours it was a silver and we distressed it and kind of gave it a rusty bike rim look to it i guess yes it's a can of krylon um it's a metallic rust Metallic like brass, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So, anyway, you can do that, have that prepped. Um, I, we started working on that on Friday, so it's all ready, it's all completely dry. Um, we're gonna be adding a small sign to the frame. And then if you do it right, you should be able to, if you are the person who purchases it, you can keep the same uh, bike wheel and you can switch out your designs. So say for example, you purchase one um, Like if I was making this for myself, I would make it the way I'm going to show you how tonight and then when Christmas rolled around or winter rolled around You could remove the fall florals the fall sign and then go ahead and do a new design with um, Christmas or winter type of a look so 20 inch bike wheel frame is what you'll need whatever florals you want to get the 6.4 inch by 6.4 inch square sign came from Hobby Lobby um, the ribbons that we'll be using tonight for our bow will be this two and a half inch fall uh, bike wheel or bicycle fall with sunflowers in a basket um, craft outlet is where I got this from um, we're going to be doing an inch and a half pumpkin, like it's pumpkin colored with a raised white stitching. Crinkle designs for this, uh, crinkle designs for the brown, orange, and red striped. Uh, fall floral came from Shinoda, and then following it up with the pumpkins, which is symptom or whatever for fall, also a craft outlet. So, got all those. As I'm using the supplies, I'll tell you where I got them from. Most of the time, I get them from local retail places like Hobby Lobby. Um, Michael's is my favorite to get florals from. Um, a little bit maybe Dollar Tree, just for fillers. Um, so we're pretty much ready. If you like this design, want to remember where you got the tutorial, click the share button down at the bottom, it'll share it to your page. If you want to get notified when we go live, which is every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific and every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific, and then do math for Central and Eastern, um, make sure you hit the like and follow button. And I think that's it. Sharon said the colors of all those flowers are so beautiful. Not funny. All I did is just take everything that I had and I just shoved it in a little picture. So um, what you will need is also zip ties. So what you're gonna be doing is like what I've taught you for lantern swags, you're gonna basically be doing the same thing. We're gonna be building about a little less than half, maybe it just depends because I feather them out, but at least half of it will be fall florals with our bow, then we're gonna add our sign and then you'll still be able to tell that this is on a bike wheel by the time we're done. But what you're gonna need is a lot of long floral pieces so we're gonna start off, and I'm gonna break this down in the largest pieces possible. Um, this uh, fall leaves is from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to take these in the longest 
blanks I can grab. Not that this would have been great, but um, let me see what other long florals I have. I think we're gonna do these mums, and then we're also going to, this is where I self-destruct my entire floral thing. We're also gonna do some of these. So, I'm gonna move the bike rim to the side. Keep our fall leaves over here. Kind of push this away. And then I want all these long stems. So, grab these from the bottom, as close to the bottom as possible, because we're making this so that it can be removed. So there's that. Um, this pick is from Michael's. So I'm gonna go with about five of these. Let's see, there's this one. I'm trying to grab it as low as I possibly can get it. It's just detached from different places. So when I'm doing this, I'm gonna get five of the yellow as well. So down from the bottom, one. I know, find something that has a little bit more to it. Sure, I lost She said, so funny, I just got the bicycle ribbon the other day. Did you really? I hadn't even pulled the bicycle ribbon out until five minutes before the live. And I was like, ooh, bike ribbon would look cool. Happy Sunday, everyone. One more. Hey, Debbie, hey, gals. This one actually came from <clears throat> Hobby Lobby. So Michael's for one. Hobby Lobby for the other, and then you're going to start building your structure. First of all, you always want to make sure you push all of your leaves up to the top. <clears throat> that just gives it a whole new look. So we're going to push all these up. Not too hard to pop the heads off, but just get them up to the top. Just like this. Push these up as well. Up. Tyler said, love Up. your hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> There's that. 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 And then our leaves. So this will make for a really nice base. So I'm going to take my leaves and I'm going to work on this side and I'm going to just kind of create a little bunch with like three of these. Take this, and I'm just kind of laying them in on top of my fall leaves. One out here. Bring it down just a little bit. And one right here. Okay, so there's one. So it's like this little bitty bunch. And what you're trying to do is get them all gathered together so that you can put a zip tie around it. As close to the bottom of everything that you've put together on one side. And I'm using black because this has a tendency of hiding things a little bit better. So there's one bunch. Now I'm gonna do the opposite side. So let's see if we can spin these. Try to get them to lay. Come in here with this. This. Sometimes you have to blend them a little bit better. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Right under my leaf. One needs to make sure she has her zip tie in the right direction. So I'm putting these fairly close to the top to get this one set. And now we're going to place these together. And the reason being is I need a hand's length for a bow. 
So right where my hand is, is gonna be about my bow length, and I'm not done with this by any means. However, I do have some that are gonna go a little bit farther into my bunch than I want. So just like that, and make sure that everything is in the right frame of mind. Okay, so far? Yeah. What? Frame. Frame. Ha. Uh, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yeah. So I'm going to put two zip ties here, a little bit closer to the middle, and it's just holding these two bundles together. And this is how you can make it without attaching 50,000 things to your bike rim. And also where if you just have a couple pipe cleaners, you can just untwist this and then the whole thing comes off and then you just switch it out for your winter. Hey Cheryl, this is what we were just talking about. It doesn't matter if you have a pink bicycle wheel, a white, pink silver, pits. go buy some paint from Lowe's, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. This is a Krylon, it's the metallic series, it's called Metallic Rust. Yep. If you want a different look, they have copper, they have all sorts of really cool colors. But we just took it out and we painted it. Okay. A couple hours, done. So, this is going to go here and now we're gonna kind of fill in with some additional florals. So, I'm gonna set these ones aside so I don't keep grabbing the same ones. So I do want to incorporate a couple sunflowers. We are going to take this, never fails, price tag's always going to be, and this goes pretty quick, so once you get it all together and you've got everything going, that's a really nice sunflower. So I'm going to want this one a little bit more towards the top, and I'm just going to, all these florals are wired. So I'm going to get my sunflower to kind of come down. I'm looking at how far does this impact my others. So before I go ahead and add more zip ties, I'm just going to add a couple more pieces, like a little bud that just scooted right on off. And I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a top to keep it there. So let's just see. There we go. We're going to add this to this one. And let's add some leaves to the bottom. Like that. Yeah, no worries, Cheryl. Just like so. so. We've done it with every bike frame we've had. I think we've had to paint both of them. Well, we do paint them because we get them in silver. Right. And it's not my favorite. So here are some mini mums. These come from the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Sharon. Sent another 50 stars. Thanks, Sharon. So we're just adding a bunch of different colors of fall. It looks like there's one left on this. But since we have some greenery, let's add some additional and I'll take this one and add it to the bottom. down here. I like the little curly cues. That we will set aside. This we will set aside. I have some um, yellow and orange. Um, I guess they call them, these are just labeled as bush. These are from Michaels, and these run about a dollar ninety-nine. Doing the same thing, pushing our greenery up. Oh, David, that's awesome. She's hi, can see if I haven't touched you guys in a while. Aww. Welcome back. She says I'm making a bicycle wreath right now for my craft show in October. That's gonna be so much fun. But I get my bike rims at a place called the Foundry. They're only a couple bucks a piece. That's really good. That's awesome. Yeah, the show See, we don't Apple Festival in Urban, Tennessee. That should be fun. Well, we don't have those luxuries here where yeah. we're at, so 
Um, yeah, so if you have local vendors that, you know, would benefit you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want my leaf up towards my flower a little bit more. So sometimes I just break the picks apart and then just remanufacture them the way that I want. So I like this long piece. Hey girls, just joining. Welcome. Happy Sunday. So we're going to add that in there. We're going to cut a couple more of these off. Try not to take the one that of course has price tag. So we're going to have to reformat this one. Add our leaves. So they're up towards the top. Just like so. Add our bottom stem. So I'm trying to like whatever I do to the top, do to the bottom. Maybe not as much. So I'm gonna go up towards the top. We'll add this to the outside. This is gonna go towards our bottom. Once she gets ready to start attaching it to the bike frame, I'll kind of do a little bit more of an overhead view. You can actually do overhead view now if you want. So this way you can kind of see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is basically just breaking these down, looking at colors, adding them into the mix. So I'm just kind of creating little, little blossom picks. like these, just different colors of fall. Add this one to the inside, right there. Okay, set this one aside. And then um, I need to incorporate a couple of these. So these are ranunculus. These are from Michaels. I saw these at the beginning of fall and I knew I wanted to make something with them. And then lo and behold, here we go. So. Uh, Marlene, no, we actually haven't found any Dollar Tree bicycle frames, right? Um, we have, but. We haven't made any of them. They're not my favorite. It's yeah. not a frame. It's actually just around with Stone the spoke. spokes. Yeah. yeah. You've seen them, Steve. You yeah. just, you're like, hmm. I'm like, yeah, that's the bike frame people are, are asking about. So I'm just kind of layering these in, mixing the two in there. Let's go with a little longer one. Push it up. And if you still want to build out towards the top, like down here, you're going to want to make sure that everything is surrounded by your little bunch that you have going on. So, like right now, these are my little, I want to make sure I'm not smashing any of the florals I want to keep out. So now that I've got all these added, I'm going to put another zip tie on it to kind of hold everything together. Got to do it the right way. Now remember, where I'm adding the zip tie is where our bow is going to go, so you're not going to see the zip ties. So, I do want to make sure though that we are adding a little bit more, like a little bit longer pieces out this way. And these are okay because if you want to keep adding more and more, you're just going to add them into the bunch, but you might need a little bit longer piece to bring all that back into your bunch. Okay. So right now. Jeff, and I love the flowers you just used, starting with the R. Ranunculus. Yeah, they come in all colors, but don't ask me how to spell the name. Yeah. R A N U N C U L U S. Ra, it's like ra nun. Less. Just literally like what it sounds like. Um, but they're super pretty. I always see them as like 
roses that somebody chopped the tops off. That's how I can tell them Those apart. These? I can't really see these So, these are like ranunculus. So, they look like roses that are leveled. Okay, so I'm going to add some more fall leaves. I'm pushing these up. So I'm going to bring these back down in here, just like this. Ooh, that little head popped off. So we will make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, we're going to add some. And he popped off again. That would be me not grabbing this. There we go. I want this leaf under those. So I'm kind of now building longer. Why? This is my bane of my existence. Price tags way up into our designs. Let's see, this is going to go up in here. So now I'm just kind of laying things in order like I want to see them. Okay. Kind of doing your feathering technique. Yeah, exactly. Like Steve says, we're feathering. So I'm taking smaller items. Pushing this up, and I'm just adding to these. I haven't like added added them in. We're gonna take some of our red leaves and put those in. Let's see. I knew I had another red leaf. Oh, thank you for that. sending fifty stars, Pam. Appreciate Thank you, it. Pam. All you gals who are in the path of the hurricane, we're definitely praying for you guys' safety. We are getting pretty bad. We're going to cut off some boxwood right now because you've got that really nice transitional kind of color. So, again, I'm just kind of layering. And then, see, like I haven't attached this yet. So let me just... I build this. This is my long, my elongated piece here that I'm working on with my boxwood, kind of like that. And then I have these fun things, which are from Hobby Lobby. They're like a little bit of eucalyptus leaves with um, kind of like a pine cone on them. So I am going to zip tie this because this is a little higher up. And then I'm gonna attach this bundle to the bottom bundle. you to join the others. So, let me zip tie. It's so challenging to get one small little boxwood to join in with everything else and it keeps escaping my little bundle, but now I've got them in there. Okay, so there's this. This is gonna get joined to the top of my bundle. So if I flip this over, I can actually see my entire bundle being built. So here's the bottom of my bundle. So I can bring this in right to the bottom of this. 
I just want to make sure that it's all on the side I want to see. These poor little pine cones are on the back side. So we need to bring them out to the front. Like that. And now what I'm going to do is get my zip tie around my bundle the very beginning bundle we created. So here's my bundle. We're going to take this bundle. There we go. And add that. Here's that box foot again. Okay. So we've added top bundle to bottom bundle. So now we've made that a little bit longer. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So here's my eucalyptus. Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna do that with our ornoculus, our fall leaf. I wanna make sure we get our pines in okay those are all done let's grab another one of these trim off a little bit of excess that's a little too long and we're going to do the same thing I'm going to need to add my boxwood to this bundle so I need to attach everything here first and then we attach it to the other side and then, there we go. Using right tools. If you want to, for stability, you could put a little glue in there between the zip tie and the stems. I don't find that you ever needed it. I just honestly don't. Because you're, you've built such a really good, strong base that, I mean, I'm coming in here with pretty large, you know, clump of stems. Let me just make sure we get that going. And then, yep, it's right where I want it to be. Okay. You can kind of see the back of it. Uh, yeah, literally, it. that's the whole back of what I've built. So this is what's going to lay on our bike rim. This is technically what you can take off. So I like that it's here, and we're going to get it to where it'll fan around. And then, um, but before I do that, I'm going to strip these down. These are pumpkins. I do want to put those on couple berries. So these are going to get added in. Again, Michaels for the pumpkins, Michaels for the berries. I'm going to just come in and add a thicker piece to this and it's sturdy right in here. Okay. Now, because it's all wired, you can bend it. So you can put it in the shape that you want so that it follows the rim of your bike. 
just like that and just like this, okay? And when we attach it, it's actually going to go on top of the rim. So it's just gonna get secured with about two to three pipe cleaners and that's it. And this is so you can take the entire thing off if you don't want it, if you wanna switch it out for the holidays, you can switch it out for whatever holidays you wanna, you know, switch it to. So let's add a couple stems to our pumpkins. These we're gonna attach probably with glue. So let me get this on. And because everything is um, wired, it doesn't all have to stay static. You can move your florals up, around, out. Okay, just like that. Um, but we've got to attach the bow before I can attach it to the bike wheel. So going to put my leaf more to the back, get these around, making sure everything is where you can see it. like these picks because you can pull them all apart just like that and then you have individual little pieces and then those will attach into the design so let me remove all the leaves and the florals that we're not going to be using this is all stuff we're going to add into the final mix once it's all there. Thank you for sharing, gals. Jane says this is gorgeous. Okay, so let's build the bow really quick. Um, don't need a sticker on my hand. So we're going to start with our bow. So you need to figure out how far do you want the tails to be. So you figure if your bow is up in here, um, you know, how far do you want it to drape? Do you want it to drape down a little bit further? Do you want it to fall here? Let's see what that is. That is 11 inches. So let's save that for our bottom. So we're going to dovetail first. So 11 inches in, we're gonna twist. We'll kind of do it over here. And can't go super crazy on the loop size because it can't be, if we look at it this way, I think that's good. But let me see what that is. Loop size wise, five and a half inches which is a perfect size for a two and a half inch. So we'll just make sure these are a little bit longer. And then remember we want it out to 11 inches. So there's that one. Then I think we're going to put our pumpkins to the outside. So I'm going to look at stacking these right now. And I think I want it like this so that we're graduating that pumpkin color through all the rest. So we're gonna step these down a little by little 
both the loop size and the tail size. So this one is 11. So we are going to go, let's go nine and a half for that. We'll let the bike one go just a little bit longer. And this should be five inches for the pumpkin color. We don't want it to be a super huge giant bow, just kind of like an accent color to tie all the colors of the florals into the bow. And then we said nine, nine inches. Dovetail. So this pumpkin again came from Kringle. If you like the ribbon and want to order it, and then the same with this trice. It's like brown, orange, and red. Okay. So this one I'm doing eight and a half inches. I'm going to do a four and a half inch loop. Right there. Just measure again. Four and a half. There we go. Eight and a half. So a dovetail is just a finished look for your ribbons. People call them ducktails, dovetails. It's just the little V at the bottom of your ribbon. And we'll go over how to make those right now. So you just take your wired edges, you bring them together, and depending upon how deep into your ribbon you want your V is how high up on your fold you're going to go into the bottom. So just like that, and you get a really perfect dovetail. This one is going to be eight inches. Just a little bit shorter. It's going to be a four inch loop. So we're coming down a half inch with each ribbon I'm adding, both in the loop size for our bow and the tail length. And then back out. And then the final one, our pumpkin ribbon, is going to be seven and a half inches for our tail length. And then three and a half inches for our loop. And this will tie the pumpkins into the florals. What, do you guys have any questions at all that I can answer for you? Seven and a half. And then three and a half inch loop. It's usually a pumpkin and a half. I think is what we said. Do you like the colors that I've chosen for the ribbon? Or for our bow, actually. And then back out. Seven and a half. Dovetail. There we go. We're about to like some love so far. What do you guys think about the ribbon for the bow selection? or even the types, of which florals or which flower do you guys like that, that we've added to this mix the most? Do you have a preference for mums, sunflowers, um, binoculars? So I'm gonna 
practice this on. And we're actually going to fluff on the rim for actually two once we get everything on. Charlotte said the ribbons are perfect. Thank you. Well, that's a good start, right? So because we want the bike ribbon tails to be a little bit going towards the bottom, I'm going to pull those down now. Um, if we need to adjust any of our tails, we will. Said everything is perfect. Lou said I think the whole design looks great. Thank you. Now remember, the interesting thing is you can snap that off your bike rim and you can make this your fall centerpiece as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. It's going right over my zip ties. I'm going to go ahead and twist this on there. Just like so. And we're going to fluff it. So I definitely want these coming down to the underside. Now when it comes to these, I'm just going to open both of my loops and then just pull the ribbons down. If I decide I want these shorter, we can definitely, you know, shorten them up once we get everything fluffed and ready to go. Sean said, I believe all your choices are beautiful. Oh, yeah. thanks. So I'm going to try to alternate my loops. One high, one low. Right, just as it is, doesn't look great like it would be for a centerpiece, or even See. up on your mantle. You can technically cheat. So if you're like, oh, I kind of like that as a centerpiece more, then voila. You've just kind of, in a sense, learned how to make a super simple centerpiece without a form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of our ribbon has greater holding power than others. It just, it moves in places the other ones don't. Okay, so now we're going to attach this to the bike frame. So look, super simple, right? We just made a super simple centerpiece. You could technically make this as a swag for a doorway if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and add this. Now, I have to be cautious because when I add this, when we add our sign, the sign has to have a straight spoke and an elongated one because this is our sign is going to sit on a vertical and a horizontal, perfectly straight. So, when I add this, I'm going to need to make you know keep that in mind when I'm adding this to my. Frame. So right about there is where I'm going to add it, and this is where you have an option. You can zip tie it to the frame, or you can just take pipe cleaners and just pipe cleaner it right to your frame. So in the exact same way that we added our bundles, I'm just trying to, there's a leaf in the way. which is why I picked brown. I'm going to this bundle right to my frame. Let's hope this goes in the right direction. So there's one. I want this to curve a little bit more. Let me go ahead and get this in under my bundle. So all I'm doing is taking my hands and kind of feeling through the bundle so that I can find a place for me to attach my pipe cleaner. And I'm attaching it on there pretty good. 
but this now makes it to where nothing is permanent to the rim. There's people who will take these and add, you know, the hot glue everything to the frame, which is fine, but this is now a piece that you can change up for the seasons if you'd like. Let's add a couple pumpkins to this design. Let's take this one and stretch it. So now we've got to add our sign. To prep our sign, we're just going to cut the string off the sign and we're going to add. Can you grab me two more pipe graders? Mm -hmm. Preferably brown. have florals on the floor. So we're going to be attaching the Hello Fall sign right to our frame. And this is where we needed a straight. Okay, here and here. Okay, so I'm doing it on this side and then right up here. Yes, I was like, did I put the staple gun away? No. Couple twists. And then one up at the top. So the florals will be attached to the frame and the sign will be attached to the spokes. And out of staples. Right? Yeah, would you be so nice to <laughs> refill? I'm like two staples short, <laughs> just two. While Steve's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pumpkins. So we're just gluing these in. This is where sometimes you just need wire cutters. So I wanna add some pumpkin picks. There's only three. I've been having a problem trying to find pumpkins that aren't red, that are true orange to add to my designs. So like these, I'm going to add a pumpkin right in there. And that looks super cute. I'll show you what I just did. I'm going to take another one. Then we're going to tuck this one to the outside. I think I'm going to add another one. Probably in there. Let me look. Oh yeah. Okay. So before I lose sight of where that is, I'm just going to glue. Now this is getting glued into the bunch with Gorilla Glue. So it's just getting added right into my florals, just like that. So, okay. Irvina, she, she attached the florals to the rim with zip ties. Uh, no, with pipe cleaners. Oh, you did pipe, pipe cleaners? Just pipe cleaners. This way you can take them off. Gotcha. I just made it easy for the customer if they wanted to mm -hmm. take them off. So there's one pumpkin, two pumpkins. Of course, we're running out of glue. I, did have piece of I know, I saw that. <laughs> Thank you. You are so sweet. So I'm going to pull that down. And so let's add a couple of these really super cute berries. Same way. Just Popping more fall color. It's just a nice visual interest. Let's get the orange. Let's 
make them move first so they're not quite so static. Let's add some red to the bottom. Sometimes you add red to where there's orange and orange to where there might be a lot of yellow. What do you guys think so far? Do you like it? Uh, Manny, the stapler you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot. It's a you can also get it on Amazon too. Black and Decker Power Shot. It's ergonomic. Um, That's good. Except I guess I love it as a sound piece. You can even make it longer. Yes, you can. choices work great with the pearls. Yeah, so that's helping me decide, um, so what am I doing tomorrow in the private group? Because, you know, we're making fall. We're making a um, table runner. So it's not going to be um, like a floral arrangement, per se, I guess. So I'm just adding some little beads. There's the other one. So we'll use these ones up. We'll add another pop of orange to the bottom. Did you guys think that, like when you first saw me putting this together, did you think that we would be making something like this? That it was basically creating a design with no frame. And then we were coming back in and making it removable. Because I like creating something a customer can change. So we just twist twice. Okay, so back the way it was, just like that. So now our sign is going to get added to the, I'm just trying to wrap it around the ones I need it to go around. So when I flip it upside down, kind of, let's see, do we have to go upside down? I'm so used to doing metal signs and then we just wire it to the rim. So on this case, we're wiring it to the spokes so that our sign, again, can be removed if you don't want it for fall. There's that one. This one, and I think we're good. Let's put it on the door. Hope it doesn't fall apart, right? That's what we're always hopeful for. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let me make sure I don't lose my pins that are up here, and those roll to the floor. Okay, so it's got a lock them in somewhere. Okay, so this is down, this goes up. Let me make sure all my glue, my glue threads are trying to get it to hang the way I want it to be. So, what do you all think? Super simple, right? There we go. Ta-da! 
So you saw how easy that is to make our fall bike frame. Just like that. So you can make it to where you could take your sign off, two pipe cleaners, remove the uh, floral display, slap another one on there, change out the sign. You can still go with the rustic look if you kind of want to go a little bit more rustic Christmas or rustic winter, um, or just change it out. Every year as the seasons change, just change the florals that go on your bike rim and not have to buy consecutives. Like the, if this was mine, I would just change out my designs every time my season changed. And then you would just have your table centerpiece that you can use. Any other questions you all have? Just love it, gorgeous, love it, beautiful. Okay, well, um, so if you guys would like to join my private group, we are doing two tutorials every week, all the way through mid-December. Uh, it's $17 a month. We meet every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific, which is 5 Central, 6 Eastern, and also Mondays at 5. Plus, you get access to my entire library of private group tutorials that I've done from 2018 uh, to current. Um, and you can do that at the website at catscreationsandmore.com. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank you for joining your, with me on a Sunday and hope you guys have an exceptionally awesome week and I'll talk to you next Friday. Bye everyone.